her. And Bill has come to the rescue, so thank you, Bill. I look like I have a unibrow because <laughs> I've been doing a lot of sanding in here and my like dust mask actually wearing like a really good one for once it like made this mark okay so it's been like two days since we got the load of logs let's go over and I'll tell you our plans for all of them I'm so excited it's been raining like the past couple of days non-stop and this is like beautiful sunny blue skies not a cloud in the sky perfect day so let me do a little i got my security guard with me eating a pine cone okay so we have some massive maple <laughs> i almost like really face planted there massive maple so with the maple, I am not planning on carving the maple because maple is extremely hard. And so we are going to be doing milling with this. So that's when our Grimberg mill will be coming out. I'm pretty sure this guy right here is the biggest one. I'm pretty sure he's the biggest one. Um, so go in the comments and let me know what you guys think we should do with these massive maples. Um, maybe like i'm kind of thinking like cool backrest um some tables maybe even a mantle i mean like this right here cut all i don't know a couple inches three four inches that could be like a really cool tabletop just this alone um we would like to make our dining room table because we don't have a dining room table <laughs> we've been using a picnic table because we've been waiting for this moment and it's finally getting a little bit closer. So this is spalded maple. Vanjo's inspecting it, making sure it's all good. Over here, we have some beautiful hemlock, good size, and we'll be using this probably mostly for, there's a hawk. The red tail hawk. It's been so windy so windy. This was supposed to dial, dial down a little bit and I don't think it dialed down at all. But we will be cutting this for like saw test, for firewood. That's for the hemlock. Bianco, come over here. Come here, bud. Let's show them what we got. Let's show them what we got. And then here we have a bunch of white pine. 60% of the load was white pine which is good because I'm a carver and I'm gonna need white pine to carve so 
fun and I, it's actually like all pretty big like I've made some I don't know I do like small stuff from like seven inches to like 30 inches and this is all pretty big I don't definitely 20 some are over 20 like I think this section right here is the smallest bit of white pine so I'll have to learn how to do some more bigger carvings <laughs> and then we have a very very special one right here this is catalpa or however you say it, catalpa whatever and it's a little rotted in the center but I think we're gonna be okay I did I only got to really use Catalpa once in my life and that was when I went over to Scott Dow's place and we made a really cool turtle table. Um, so that was my first time playing with Catalpa and I didn't know how potent this wood is. It's so potent. Like if you smell it, it like it smells like Catalpa. Like you know what Catalpa smells like if whenever you smell it the first time. And it can, like, it comes in waves. Like, I think it, like, smells really good. And then, like, playing around with it for so long, like, it starts to smell bad. Like, it comes in waves. So, I'm super excited about this. Don't really know what I'm going to do with this. So, leave in the comments what you guys think I should do with this catalpa. Maybe try a Scott Dow table. Um, I don't, I don't really know. I know Scott said that, like, the center cracks. So we'll have to, like the center is already rotting. So I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Hopefully something really cool because my only piece of the top of that I have. And it's pretty big, like it gets really thick right here. Like this is the thickest point. And then it kind of tapers down a little bit. Like it breaks off to a couple branches. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I can come up with or whatever you guys come up with. But look at all this white pine. I'm so excited. Like, look at these guys. These are huge. This guy right here, holy man. Angel, look at this. This is as big as you. Banjo is the log inspector. He's making sure it's all good. All right, so yeah, we finally got our first load of wood because we have been just going on the property and picking out white pines here and there. And my parents have been helping me out with that. So super thankful for all that. Like the property that we have with all these white pines like there's still a bunch of pines that we need to cut down there's pines on the hill that fell last year in the spring from a really wind from a really big windstorm so we'll get that eventually at some point but wood <laughs> there's an endless amount of wood now feels like I don't even know if I can like go through all of this in one year. So I'd be very curious to see how much I actually eat through in the projects that are gonna come out of these logs. Thanks for watching, bye.